<laughs> date, marry, and divorce. And you talked about it earlier with the uniform game, as we'll call it, coming up on Saturday. A lot of excitement about the duds that Nate Oates' team will be sporting at Coleman Coliseum. I like that move, by the way, not just in terms of it's a cool look, but it's a point in the season where you're about to go through this gauntlet and you want your team as mentally charged and juiced from top to bottom, not just your key guys, not just your Mark Sears and your Aaron Estradas and Grant Nelsons, but I like it in terms of the entire locker room getting some juice from something like that. But the logos, boy, when these uniforms come out, the logos always come out. And also, you had a head coaching change. So, you know, Nick Saban may have preferred a particular logo, but maybe Kalen DeBoer likes something a little bit different. We've seen some of that. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and pull up the logos. And what we're going to do, you guys are going to tell me. Uh, we'll start right here. This is the traditional script a this is the center of the field logo right at bryant denny stadium and so we'll run it we'll give you that logo script a with alabama crimson tied around it and then you kind of get into this this is what i call the dufran logo <laughs> kind of mike dubos meets dennis francioni from the 90s uh, we'll see about that one. The angry elephant with the Alabama Crimson Tide underneath. And then there is just that traditional favorite, the angry elephant stepping out of the block a with the, the Crimson Tide banner underneath. So, all right, guys, we're going to go back. We'll start with this one, the script a that you see in the center of the field, or you have, we'll see moving forward. Where does this one rank for you? Uh, Charlie, in terms of date, married, divorce, where are you going with that one? I think that one's date. Um, that has been the primary logo for Alabama. I, I think it'll probably continue to be, but uh, for me, it's 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 okay. It's a it's a solid logo. I think the A in the middle's fine, but uh, it doesn't do do much for me. It's a it's a one date kind of logo. Um, I think you're right when you look at these these coaching staffs. Uh, Nate Oates loves the one we're going to talk about here in a little bit. Uh, I think Nick Saban. Probably like a more traditional clean look is the first one. Uh, but yeah, for me, that one's definitely the the middle of the pack when it comes to these three. What about it, uh, Clint? Where do, where do you have the script A here? I got a feeling we're going to all have the same answers. And I don't think there <laughs> is any other answer, to be honest with you. This is definitely a date. I mean, I don't want to make any sort of long-term commitments. When you're talking about middle of the field, if you were to ask me which of these three logos would look the best on a football field there at the 50-yard line, it's this one. Uh, but when you talk about everything else, uh, it, it it's middle of the pack. I mean, it's definitely one that I, I'm, I'll share this with the fellas and admit that I dated this one. I have no problem doing that, but I, I don't want any sort of long-term commitment. This, this logo is not meeting the parents or anything. It's just one I'm taking out a couple of times, and I'm totally fine with that. There's nothing wrong with it. See, this is where I fell off a little bit because I was with you guys until I really gave this some thought earlier today. I really worked through this and think about this logo. And I did go back. I went back to the 2007 season opener, Nick Saban's first game as Alabama head coach against Western Carolina to make sure this logo was center of the field. And it was. And Alabama's won six national championships and nine <laughs> SECs with that logo at midfield. So, you know, maybe begrudgingly, I've almost got to, I got to go marry here with this one. Is it my personal favorite? Maybe not, but it's hard to go against the track record, the pedigree of this one. You got to take that into account when you're making these type of life choices, guys. And even that script A, you can take that back to the Paul Bear Bryant era. Remember the white hat with the script A that he had on it with the crimson it's bill? A maybe different, not. but yeah. I mean, I'm, I know I'm reaching a little bit, but it, it surprised even me because for me, this was date all the way up until I thought about, damn, what has Alabama football accomplished with this thing? So uh, there you go. I'm, I'm, like I'm that. married with it. I'm Good married with that it. That sounds now. like an, a, an arranged marriage. Like you're just yes. kind of settling on that one. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, it's it's kind of like, I would call it a Lake Tuscaloosa crown point marriage. You know, in some ways, <laughs> that's what it is. And I, I, I'm, I'm going with it. 
Uh, I think we all agree on this one, right? Um, no. Mary, yeah. Mary, right? No. <laughs> I, I'm not even picking. I will divorce. say, I will say, this one does remind me of my childhood, though. Like growing up, you saw this one, and then the you had the Auburn Eye logo, yep, which yes. is also bad. Um, <laughs> so it is nostalgic, and I like a good nostalgia pull, but it's definitely divorce. It, it's not even divorce. It's kill. I didn't enter willingly <laughs> into this marriage. And so I don't want a divorce. It's, I understand kill's not an option in, in this little game, but this is, this, this logo is terrible. It's always been terrible, but I do agree with Charlie that it's got some nostalgic factors to it. And that certainly that helps it. But no, this, uh, I, I, I would, I would love to meet the person that put this as the Mary just to understand how that person operates on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. This is dollar general. Alabama logo. <laughs> if we want to get right That's down good. to it. But you yeah. know what? Um, Charlie said it. He's about he's I think you're close to the same age as as our oldest, our son, who will be 28 next month. And so like his that. formative years, uh, some of that goes back to this into that Dubos, Fran, Shula type of run. And so a period you, know, you want got, to forget. He got a finit, he got a vintage jacket for Christmas. He was gifted one of those starter kind of jackets, uh, yep. vintage jacket. And this was the logo on it, you know, and it resonated with him. But for me, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah I'm getting deed up. I'm getting deed up from that one. Now, this is the <laughs> one you guys obviously would walk down the aisle, right? Or, yeah. or meet at the, the end of the aisle. This one is out kicking your coverage is what it feels like. Um, this one is, it's a great logo. I like all the throwback logos really from, from all the SEC teams, but like this one, yeah, Nate Oates has been, he's been wearing this one, um, since he got the job and we've seen Kalen DeBoer and, and yep. members of the new staff sporting it too. So maybe, you know, football dives into it a little bit more. It'd be great to see it on the 50 at Bryant Denny. Um, but you know, I, I think this one fans love it. And you want to talk about NIL opportunities? I know they've been like dishing out these um, uniforms and stuff. You could do so much with this. Heck, release some more commemorative Coca Cola cans and bottles. Think about how many people still have those collecting dust up in cabinets or on shelves places. I, I think yeah. this one, it's just, it resonates with the fan base so much um, that they should do more with it. They're not doing enough. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it, this is like the this is the most nostalgic logo for me i mean just uh, and i think that it was because of all the stuff that you know the the parents uh, my dad had in the house i mean he was living in this era and this was the logo and, and it's kind of like i've wondered will this be like a like a tennessee oilers type of situation where all the fans they love those oilers jerseys those titans fans and they would love for those to be the, the jerseys every single week and you've got plenty of others the tampa bay buccaneers and their uniforms those cream sickle uniforms but for one, one one reason or another, the NFL teams refused to make a commitment to go back to that fully, maybe because it wouldn't be as popular if it wasn't kind of a special occasion kind of thing. Uh, and so they only bust it out sometimes, and you appreciate it, but all the fan base would love for that to be the primary. I think Alabama fans would love for this to be the primary, but it could end up getting treated more, obviously more than you know the, the, the twice a year uh you know throwback jerseys, but you know kind of being more of a complimentary piece rather than being the primary. I think that's probably what's going to end up happening. But uh, if, if Alabama fans had their way and I had my way with them, it, this would be the, the primary logo moving forward. This logo for me ties in the Bryant era with the Stallings national championship in 92 at my age. That's, and it's my favorite. This logo is my favorite, even though I'm, we're just dating. It's my, <laughs> I guess you could say sidecar, whatever. Um, <laughs> No, I, I love this logo. And I would say this, of the three logos we've looked at, if you need to get an Alabama tattoo, this would be the one that you would tattoo. Now, the Dufran era, Alabama, <laughs> that's too few many drinks at 2 a.m. and PCB tattoo yeah. material. You could even get away with the script day with the Crimson Tide, the center of the field logo, I think, and be okay. But if you have to ink yourself with one of these three logos, guys, this would be the one. Has to be. Yeah. Yeah. I'm probably not getting any of them, but 
<laughs> it is. I think you're missing the, I see the, 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 people. the had to part. <laughs> I, I think the people that have the second one is a dad too. Oof, those are the people you don't want to run into like at Walmart. Yeah, they've got that one on the back of the left half. Big. Yeah. Or just the entire back. <laughs> Which I would almost have that. I, I'm, Do you think I'm, AJ McCarron has that second one? Ooh, somewhere. If not, he's probably planning that down the road. Yeah, maybe. yeah. It, 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 I almost would respect that level of commitment to that logo, though. If someone went that far with it, it'd go from I don't know that we'd get along to actually. I think your commitment to things, we would get along very much so. Can't say we didn't save the best for last today, guys. <laughs>